Hello everybody, welcome back and uh, nice to meet you again and welcome back uh, to meet me and uh, today we are going uh, to uh, talk about our lesson number three. You remember in the lesson number one we talk about the, our alphabet, the Italian alphabet. In the lesson number two we talk about the nouns, the gender of the noun, how to recognize uh, if one uh, word uh, belongs to the masculine or to the feminine gender. Uh, remember what we talk in uh, lesson number two? Always look at the, the last uh, letter at 99% uh, of the time. If the last word is uh, O, it means uh, that word is masculine. If the last word is uh, A, that means that word uh, is uh, feminine. Uh, today, in our lesson number three, uh, of course, we will talk again about the nouns and the gender masculine and feminine, but we will concentrate uh, in uh, how to use singular uh, and plural. In English, uh, that you are familiar with, uh, in English is uh, simple, because uh, also in Italian is simple, uh, but it just is not, it's not the same rule, you know. Uh, uh, both are simple anyway. Uh, in English, uh, to make the, uh, to make the pl plural or one word is uh, enough, uh, is enough to just add the S. For example, you have the word boy, uh, boy, of course, is one boy. Uh, and if you want to talk about the two, three, four, five, six, so not one, you just add the S and you becomes boys. So uh, boy is singular and boys uh, is uh, plural okay today let's see in Italian language you don't have to add any s you always have to follow a very very simple rule to uh, change one word from singular to plural let's uh, take uh, some word that uh, we use uh, in the last uh, in the previous our previous lesson you remember we use the word uh, Casa, that means uh, home. Uh, we use the word uh, penna, that means pen. We use the word uh, oro, that means gold. And uh, we use uh, another, uh, another uh, masculine word uh, that uh, in the lesson number two was uh, zio. Zio is uncle. So, just for example, we take uh, two feminine words, casa and penna, last word is a, and two masculine words, oro and zio. O and o is the last word. So, casa, of course, uh, is uh, one house. Penna, of course, is uh, one house pen. Oro, of course, I refer to one piece of gold. And zio, I refer to one uncle. Imagine I want to talk about uh, not one house uh, or not one pen, but I want to uh, not about one piece of gold. I don't want to talk about one uncle only. But I want to say that, for example, that I have three two or four houses or I need to buy two or three pens that uh, maybe that I, I don't have only one piece of gold but maybe I have one, two or three and the same I don't have only one uncle but maybe I have two or three uncles. As I said before in Italian you don't have to add any S like in English. There is a very, very simple rule uh, that I will write it here in order to change uh, from singular to plural. If you remember this formula that I will write it here, here is singular, and here change from singular to plural. Masculine word, masculine word, feminine word, 
feminine word. If the, I'm using a masculine word, so 99% of the time the last word is o, zio, oro, in order to change to the plural, I have to change the last letter. So the last letter of the word I must change and I have to replace with another letter. O is for singular. If I want to talk, if I want to make the word plural, I have to replace the word O singular with the sorry, I have to replace the word O not the word, I have to replace the letter O with the letter E. You remember the alphabet lesson number one. O, singular, to change into plural, the letter O becomes E. So, oro, singular word, if I want to talk about plural, it will be ORI. Zio. Zio is one, singular, singular, f masculine. If I want to make the word plural, I have to replace the letter O with the letter E. So zio will become Z. The E a little bit long because two times E. This is uh, for uh, masculine name. Let's go now to see how to make the plural for feminine words. When the last word is a for feminine, it means it's singular. Casa, one house. Penna, one pen. Now, I want to talk about uh, two or three or four houses. I want to talk about two or three or four pens. What do I have to do? I have to replace the last word, a, with another. Sorry, I have to replace the last letter, not the word, always confused. I, I have to replace the letter a, 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 I have to replace uh, with the letter uh, E. Remember, alphabet lesson number one, pronounce uh, E. So, casa, singular, becomes case, plural. And penna becomes penne. So, in order to change a word from singular to plural, you always must change the last letter. If the letter is O, because the word is masculine, the letter O becomes E. If, the let, if the, you are using a feminine word and the last letter is A, singular, you have to replace the last letter A with the letter E. Casa, case, feminine. Penna, penne, feminine also. Oro, ori, masculine word. Zio, zi, masculine as well. Give me five more minutes, or even three. I will write here some word, of course, in singular, fratello, a word that we already used in uh, lesson number two. Fratello means brother. Of course, it's one. Imagine you want to say brothers. So you uh, imagine you want to say, I have uh, three brothers. So the last word is O, because, and the word is masculine. In order to become brothers, you have to change the last letter. So fratello will become 
Frei. Fra. Te. O. Change with I. So, fratello becomes fratelli. Let's take now an, a, a feminine word. For example, sorella, a word that we use in the lesson number two as well. Sorella is sister. Sorella, feminine word, because the last letter is A. A for feminine. Imagine you want to say, I have two or three sisters. So you have to replace the letter A with the letter E. So the word sorella, one sister, will become, try, so re le. I replace the letter A with the letter E according to this formula. A, feminine word, singular, becomes E for plural. O, fratello, masculine word, singular, replace with the letter E to make the word in plural. Fratello, one brother, fratelli, more than one can be two, three, four, five, six, seven, no limit. Sorella, one sister. Sorelle, two, three, four, five, six, no limit, sisters. Last example. Then I want you to practice and find it, uh, words, masculine or feminine, and you will, uh, uh, you will practice uh, from singular to plural. For example, uh, we use this word, uh, ah no, casa, we already use. Let's find out, let's use an, a, a new word that we haven't used until now. For example, anello. Anello. Anello means ring, the, the ring that I'm using now. Anello, the word is uh, masculine or feminine? You answer. The word, the last letter is O. So, anello, one ring, singular, masculine word. If you want to talk about rings, you have to change the letter O with the letter E. So, anello will become, you answer, a ne li. Let's take now a feminine word, a new word. For example, uh, we want to use the word motocicletta. Motocicletta. Motocicletta is a uh, motorbike. Of course, one, because the last letter is A. So, A, feminine word and singular. Now imagine you want to say, I have two, I have three, I have four motorbikes. The word motocicletta, that is singular, becomes, you do it, motocicle, you continue. Motocicle, Te. The word A, according to this formula, A, singular, replace the letter A with the letter E for plural. So, motocicletta becomes motociclette. Motocicletta one, motociclette more than one. And I think it's all for today. This is the end of lesson uh, Number three, I will meet you next time and we will continue with lesson number four. Bye-bye. Ciao. See you again.